Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet step by step this absolutely beautiful baby blanket. You can make it for baby boys and girls, and you can make it in any size using any yarn weight. Just make sure that you use the recommended hook size for the yarn that you're going to use. Now, the stitch pattern that we're going to make this baby blanket with, it's absolutely beautiful. It's got so much texture and perfect for baby blankets, so I hope you like it. Now, if you prefer a written pattern, I'll leave the the link to my Etsy shop in the information box. Now make sure you like this video and comment below to let me know if you want me to show you how to crochet the little set using the same stitch pattern. I'll see what I can do. Okay, let's get started, but don't forget all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Also, don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that you don't miss any of my tutorials. Thank you for watching. To crochet this baby blanket, I'll be using this 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this medium number four yarn. Now, you can use any weight yarn with any hook size, and you can make your baby blanket smaller or bigger. At the end of the tutorial, I will leave you the finished size of my baby blanket, so if you want to make your baby blanket smaller or bigger, the stitch multiple to this base chain here is multiples of four. Now, here to begin, I have 132 chains. On the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four right here make three double crochets one two three now skip three chains one two three and into the fourth chain again make three double crochets one two three skip three chains one two three and into the fourth chain make three double crochets now this is all i'm going to do for this first row we're going to skip three chains one two three and into the fourth chain make your three double crochets so continue like this for this first row i will meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next and this is what it looks like i'm here at the end of this first row i have my last four chains one two three four into the last chain here at the end make two double crochets one and two and here's the first row and that's what it looks like now for the second row we're going to chain two and turn what we're going to do here is in each one of these spaces between these shells here, we're going to make a double crochet. Then we're going to make a spike double crochet. You're going to go to the row below, which is in this case the chains and into the center chain. Remember here we skipped three chains, so into the second chain, which is the center chain, grab a loop, and make this long double crochet. Make sure that these two loops here are at the same level as the first double crochet, and then just complete your double crochet. Now, make one more double crochet into this same space. So here we have three double crochets, one, two, three. The one in the center is the spike double crochet. Now again, we have the next space, make a double crochet, then make a spike double crochet. So go down to the row below and into the second chain, insert your hook, grab a loop, and make your double crochet. Now into the same space here, make a double crochet. One more time. Make a double crochet into the next space. Double crochet into the second chain below and a double crochet into the space again. And this is all we're going to do. And that's what it looks like. Let me show you one more time. Go to the next space between the two shells here. Make a double crochet. 
make a spike double crochet by going into the second chain below close your double crochet and then a double crochet into the same space and that's all we're going to do continue like this to the end of this second row i will meet you there to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this second row now here to finish i have my three double crochets and then i have the three chains here at the beginning right in the middle of the three chains and these three double crochets so right here we're going to finish this second row with two double crochets one and two and this is how i finish the second row now for the third row chain two and turn now into this first space right here, make a double crochet. Then you're going to go to the row below. In this case, we have these three double crochets. So into the middle double crochet, which is the second double crochet, insert your hook and make this second double crochet. Now, next to it again, make your third double crochet. Again, let me show you, we have the next space make a double crochet now go to the row below and make this spike double crochet and then right next to it make your third double crochet one more time make a double crochet go to the row below into the second double crochet which is the middle double crochet make your spike double crochet and then a double crochet next to it and that's all Continue like this for this third row. I will meet you at the end of this third row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row. Now to finish this row, you're always going to go into this space here at the end where we have these two chains and you're always going to finish with two double crochets at the end of every row. From here on, you're just going to continue and repeat this third row. So to start you off on the fourth row, you're going to chain two and turn. Now beginning into this first space here, make a double crochet then go down to the row below and make your long double crochet and into the same space here next to the second double crochet make your third double crochet now when you finish this row you're going to go here where we have the two chains and you're going to finish exactly in the same way as i finished the third row into this space here you're going to make your two double crochets then chain two turn and then repeat the same thing now i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do from here on but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do for my baby blanket so i will meet you at the end of that row okay i'm almost done with my baby blanket look how beautiful this stitch looks it's absolutely beautiful it's got lots of texture and it's absolutely easy to do and it works up really quick now what we're going to do is we're going to make the border here all around we're going to make a row of single crochets so we're going to do that next i have a total of 83 rows but if you want to make more rows and make it bigger you can at the beginning of the video i told you what the stitch multiple is and if you want to also make it longer and wider you can I've only done 83 rows so here we're going to start with the border this is going to be the first row and you can make this border on any baby blanket the important thing is that when you make these single crochets you make the same number of single crochets along this side you do it on the other side and the same thing for the top same number of single crochets for the top and the bottom also make sure that you do exactly the same thing on each corner for each row so here to begin this first row chain one now we have this last double crochet for the last row that I did here make two single crochets now go into the next double crochet here on the edge and make two single crochets two single crochets into the next two single crochets into the next and so on this is how i'm going to continue i'm going to make two single crochets on each one of these double crochets along the very edge 
Continue like this. I will meet you here. This is the first corner to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making single crochets here along this side. I have a total of 84 single crochets. Now, if you're off by one, two, or three single crochets, it's okay. The important thing is that when you do the other side, you do the same number of single crochets. I have 84 for this side, so when I do the other side, I'm going to make sure to make 84 single crochets. Now, here we have the first corner, so right into this chain space, right here into this corner, make a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. This is how we're going to work each one of the corners. One single crochet, chain one, one single crochet. Now, before you continue, put a stitch marker here to mark the chain space. Now, here we have a chain space, and then we have one here on this other side, and in the middle we have this double crochet. So into the chain spaces right here, make a single crochet. And then we have this chain where we have these three double crochets. So into this same chain space, make a single crochet. And then again, we have the two next chain spaces. Make a single crochet here. And then again, we have the three double crochet space, make one. And then again, we have the next two chain one spaces, make one and one. So we're going to go like this. One single crochet in where we have the three double crochets and then one single crochet into these chain one spaces. And then again, one and then one into the chain one space and then one. So basically you're making a single crochet where we have the three double crochets and a single crochet into each one of the chain one spaces. Continue like this until you come here to the second corner. I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the second corner. I finished making these single crochets along the bottom. For the bottom here, I have 98 single crochets and I started counting my single crochets after my corner. So I don't count this last single crochet for the corner. I start counting right here where I did the first single crochet into the first chain one space. So from here up to this last one here, I have 98 single crochets. So when we do the top part of the blanket, I'm going to make sure I do 98 single crochets. Now here we have this chain here into one of the chains here i'm going to insert my hook and we're going to treat this as a corner so this is going to be the second corner so make a single crochet chain one and then single crochet into this stitch here before you continue make sure you put a stitch marker where we did the chain right there and now we're going to continue along this side. For the other side, I did 84 single crochets, so I'm going to make sure I have 84 single crochets here along this side. Now, into this space here, make two single crochets, and then two into the next row here. These here are the double crochets, so into these double crochets is where I'm making my two single crochets, which is the same thing we did on the other side. So two single crochets for each double crochet until you come here to the top. This is going to be the third corner, so I'll meet you right here. Okay, I finished making these single crochets along this side. I have 84 single crochets here. Now we have these two chains here into the second chain here. This is going to be the third corner. Insert your hook there and make a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Now, before you continue, put a stitch marker here to mark the chain space. And now we're going to continue along the top. Here in the top, what we're going to do is we're going to make one single crochet on top of each one of the double crochets. So here we have these three. Make three single crochets. That's two, three. We have the next group of three double crochets. Make three single crochets, and so on. This is how we're going to work here the top of the baby blanket. Continue making three, three, three single crochets until you come here to the last group of three double crochets. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to work the fourth corner. 
I finished making these single crochets for the top. Up to here, I have 98 single crochets. Into this last space, I did two single crochets. Now, I have one last space here, so into this stitch here, I'm going to make my fourth corner. So make a single crochet, chain one, and then single crochet. And before we continue, put a stitch marker right here into the chain one space. Now, to finish this row, go into the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And here's the first row. Now, just to review, the top and bottom, they both have 98 single crochets. And on the sides, I have 84 single crochets. Now, for the second row, chain one, and into this same stitch here, make a double crochet. Double crochet into the next single crochet, double crochet into the next, and so on. This is how we're going to continue for this side until we come to the first corner. All we're doing here is one double crochet on top of each one of the single crochets. Continue like this and I'll meet you right here to show you how we're going to work each one of these corners. I finished making these double crochets for this side. Here's the first corner up to here. I have 84 double crochets. Now I have my first corner. I have a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Into the single crochet here of the corner, make a double crochet. So now for this side, I have 85 double crochets. Now remove your stitch marker and into the chain space here, make three double crochets. One, two, three. Put your stitch marker into the second double crochet out of these three that we made, which is the center stitch. And now we're going to continue along the bottom part of the blanket, making double crochets. So one double crochet for each single crochet. Continue like this until you come to the second corner. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these double crochets for the bottom part. Now up to here I have 99 double crochets, not counting these three double crochets that I did here in this corner. The stitches in between up to here, I have 99 double crochets. Now I have the second corner, I have a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Into the single crochet, make a double crochet. So now here for the bottom part, you should have 100 double crochets. Remove this stitch marker and into the chain space here, make three double crochets. One, two, three. Return your stitch marker and put it back into the second double crochet out of these three, which is a center stitch. And now we're going to continue here along this side. Now pull this stitches here like this because the single crochet here begins here in the back. So make a double crochet here, double crochet into the next, double crochet into the next, and so on until you come to the third corner. I will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these double crochets for this side. Up to here, I have 85 double crochets. Now I have the third corner. I have a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Into this single crochet of this corner, make a double crochet. So now here for this side, I have 86 double crochets. Remove your stitch marker and into the chain one space of this corner, make three double crochets. Now put back your stitch marker to mark the second double crochet here out of these three that we did. And now we're going to make a double crochet into the single crochet for this corner. So right here, make a double crochet. So now continue making one double crochet for each single crochet for the top part until you come to the fourth corner. I will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these double crochets for the top part. Up to here, I have 99 double crochets. Now, we have the fourth corner, we have the single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Into this single crochet here, make a double crochet. So now, for the top part, you should have 100 double crochets. And into the chain one space of this fourth corner here, make three double crochets. One two, 
three. Now, put your stitch marker into the second double crochet here out of these three that we just did. And now to finish into the last single crochet of this corner right here, make a double crochet. Now to finish this row, what we're going to do is I'm going to go on top of the first double crochet. I'm going to insert my hook and I'm going to, I'm going to grab a loop with the new color here and I'm going to make my slip stitch. Now the white yarn here, we can pull this yarn so that that stitch closes. And now for the third row, we're going to chain one. At the end of this second row where I did double crochets and on each corner we have three double crochets, I have a total of 380 double crochets. Now we have for the top and bottom, I have 100 stitches and for the sides I have 86 and 86. That makes a total of 380 stitches. Now to continue with the third row here, I already chained one here. We're going to yarn over here and we're going to go into the first double crochet. I'm going to make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet back post half double crochet into the next and so on. This is how I'm going to continue for this third row. I'm just going to alternate between a front post and a back post half double crochet. Now continue like this. I'll meet you right here. Here's the first corner. I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I made it to the first corner. I finished making these front post and back post half double crochets for this side. Now I have the three double crochets that we did here in this corner. In the center stitch, I have my stitch marker. So here, what I'm going to do is this stitch here, I have a front post half double crochet. So on top of the first double crochet of these three, make a half double crochet. Now remove your stitch marker and into this center stitch where I had the stitch marker, make a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Now put back your stitch marker in the center here where we have the chain one, and on top of the third double crochet out of the three for this corner, make a half double crochet. Now into the next double crochet, make a front post, half double crochet, then back post, half double crochet, front post, half double crochet, and so on. You're going to continue like this until you come to the second corner where we're going to do the same thing. This is what the first corner looks like. We have a half double crochet on top of the first. In the middle, double crochet, we did a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, and on top of the third double crochet, we did a half double crochet. And then into the next, we started with a front post half double crochet. So continue like this until you come to the second corner. I will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. I made it to the second corner. I finished making these front post and back post half double crochets for the bottom part. Now I have the second corner. We have these three double crochets. Now this stitch here, I did a back post half double crochet. On top of the first double crochet of these three, make a half double crochet. Remove your stitch marker and into this stitch here in the center, make a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. This part is the same that we did for the first corner. Now put back your stitch marker into the chain one space. Now into the third double crochet here on top, make a half double crochet. And now we have the next double crochet. I'm going to make a back post half double crochet because that's how I finished here. So I'm going to make a back post half double crochet. And then front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, and so on until you come to the third corner. Continue, I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I made it to the third corner. Now my last stitch here is a front post half double crochet. Now we have these three double crochets for the third corner. So on top of the first double crochet, make a half double crochet. Now remove your stitch marker here and into this stitch here, the center stitch, make a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Now return your stitch marker here to the center and 
and on top of this third double crochet make a half double crochet now to start here this uh, the top part this stitch here was a front post so I'm going to start with a front post half double crochet here and then a back post half double crochet front post half double crochet and so on continue like this until you come to the fourth corner I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next I made it to the fourth corner now this last stitch here it's a back post half double crochet now we have the next three double crochets here on top of the first double crochet make a half double crochet now remove the stitch marker and into the center stitch here make a half double crochet chain one half double crochet now put back your stitch marker into the chain one space here of this corner and now we have the third double crochet so make a half double crochet on top now we have the last double crochet here so into this last double crochet make a back post half double crochet and if you notice we finished exactly how we should the first stitch here is a front post so this last stitch needed to be a back post if for some reason you have a front post instead of a back post then use this stitch here which are the chain that we did at the beginning of the second row as a stitch and make your back post half double crochet there so that you end with a back post and a front post now to finish this row i'm going to change color if you're not changing color then you're just going to go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch chain one and then start your next row with a front post half double crochet then back post half double crochet front post half double crochet and so on this is only if you're not changing color i'm going to change color so i'm going to show you both ways so here here's my last stitch i'm going to grab the white yarn oops grab the white yarn Go on top of the first half double crochet, insert your hook, grab a loop with the white yarn, and join with a slip stitch. Now, this blue yarn here, just pull so that that stitch there closes. And now, with the white yarn, I'm going to chain one. Now, we have the first half double crochet, so with the white yarn, make a front post half double crochet, then back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, and so on. This is how we're going to continue here. One front post, one back post, half double crochet until you come to the first corner. I will meet you here to show you how we're going to work our corners for this uh, fourth row. I made it to the first corner. We have these four half double crochets. In the middle, we have our stitch marker. So here, this stitch here is a front post half double crochet. Into the next, I'm going to make a back post half double crochet. Now, into the next, make a front post half double crochet. And inside this chain one space where we have the stitch marker, you're going to make a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet now put back your stitch marker to mark the center stitch here and now we have the next half double crochet so here make a front post half double crochet then back post half double crochet and then front post half double crochet back post half double crochet and so on you're going to continue like this now alternating between a front post and, and a back post half double crochet until you come to the second corner i will meet you there to show you what we need to do next i made it to the second corner now this stitch here is a back post half double crochet then we have the next four half double crochets and in the center here in the chain one we have the stitch marker now into this next stitch here make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet remove your stitch marker and into the chain one space here make a half double crochet chain one half double crochet put back your stitch marker here into the chain one space now we have the next half double crochet so start with a back post half double crochet then front post half double crochet 
then back post half double crochet and then front post half double crochet and so on you're going to continue like this until you come to the third corner now in this third corner you're going to do the same thing we did on the first corner and then you're going to continue until you come to the fourth corner this fourth corner is going to be exactly like the second corner continue and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this fourth row i did the last corner here the fourth corner now this last stitch here is a back post half double crochet now to finish this fourth row i'm going to go here to the side where i have the chain here i'm going to stop using the white yarn and with the blue yarn here i'm going to make a slip stitch so grab a loop and make a slip stitch now pull the white yarn so that that stitch there closes now with the blue yarn chain one now for this fifth row we're going to repeat the same thing we did in the fourth row we're going to yarn over and then start with a front post half double crochet then back post half double crochet front post half double crochet and so on this is how you're going to continue for this fifth row you're just going to alternate between a front post and a back post half double crochet until you come to the first corner i will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next i made it to the first corner this stitch here is a front post half double crochet and then i have the two stitches here in the center i have a half double crochet chain one half double crochet so into this first half double crochet that's right here make a back post half double crochet because this is how the stitch continues see front post back post now remove this stitch marker here and into this chain one space make a half double crochet chain one half double crochet now return your stitch marker into the chain one space put your stitch marker and now we're going to continue here we have this second half double crochet out of the two that were here in the center so you're going to start with a back post half double crochet and then front post half double crochet these stitches you're going to work them exactly how they are a front post and a back post half double crochet you're going to continue like this until you come to the second corner so you're going to work these front post and back post half double crochet here in the second corner you're going to make a back post half double crochet then you have your two center stitches this stitch here is going to be a front post half double crochet then inside the chain one space you're going to make a half double crochet chain one half double crochet then put back your stitch marker into the chain one space and then you're going to do a front post half double crochet because this next one here is a back post so back front back front and so on until you come to the third corner here in the third corner you're going to do the same thing we did in the first one um, this is a front post so this is going to be a back post and then you're going to make your uh, v stitch of um, half double crochet so half double crochet chain one half double crochet and then this here is going to be a back post front back post front back post front you're just going to continue in the same way and work these stitches um, how they are there's nothing different so you're going to continue on your own for this fifth row i will meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this fifth row now to finish this row I'm going to stop using the blue yarn I'm going to grab the white yarn here and I'm going to join to the first stitch here to the side with a slip stitch now pull the blue yarn here so that stitch there closes and now with the white yarn chain one and then continue and do exactly the same thing we did in the previous row a front post half double crochet back post half double crochet front post half double crochet and so on this is all i'm going to do when you come to the corners since you're going to continue from here on on your own um, you're just going to do exactly the same thing now i'm not sure exactly how many rows i'm going to do here but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do so continue this way and i'll meet you at the end of that row okay i'm here at the end of the eighth row here for the border so in total i have eight rows counting from the first row that we did of single crochets that's one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows here. Now, if you want to make this part here wider, you can. You can just continue make more rows. I'm just going to leave it like this. Now, here to finish, what I'm going to do here is, here's my last stitch. I need to do a back post half double crochet here. So now to finish, just go here next to the first half double crochet and I'm going to switch color here one last time. I'm going to grab a loop here in blue and join with a slip stitch. Now with the blue yarn, I'm going to chain three. Now I'm going to skip. Here we're going to be skipping um, spaces, not stitches. So skip this next space and into the second here, this one, make a slip stitch. Chain three, skip this next space and into the next, make a slip stitch. Chain three, skip this space and into the next a slip stitch this is how we're going to continue until we come to the first corner skip this next space and into the next space make a slip stitch chain three continue like this until you come to the first corner here we're not going to do anything differently we're just going to continue around uh, doing the same thing i made it to the first corner here of this ninth row now here i'm going to chain three I'm going to skip this space and exactly into the chain one space of this corner, I'm going to make a slip stitch, chain three, skip one space and into the next, make a slip stitch. From here on, it's the same thing. You're just going to continue with the same sequence all the way around. So continue for this last row. I will meet you once this row here is done to show you the finished baby blanket. Okay, I finished making the last row, row nine. This is where we did these chains with slip stitches. Here at the end, I did my last slip stitch exactly where I started. I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop and this border is all done. I absolutely love this border. It's so easy to make and you can make it as wide as you want or uh, not as wide as you want and it's a reversible border so it looks exactly the same on both sides now here's one of the corners and here's this other one here i just did a basic little bow with a little flower in the middle these flowers are pre-made i purchased these from joann's so here's the finished baby blanket these are the corners that's what they look like and i'm so glad that i stuck with the um changing color every other row i love the the way that this looks so it's absolutely beautiful here's the stitch pattern it's the lily of the valley stitch i believe it's also called the granny spike stitch it's absolutely beautiful it's got lots of texture and perfect for baby blankets so this little blanket is all done so now let me give you the finished measurements for the blanket including the border it's measuring 38 inches by 39 inches which is about 97 centimeters by 100 centimeters the border itself just the border it's measuring about 7.5 centimeters which is about three inches and like I said you can make the border as wide as you want or not as wide so here's the finished baby blanket. Now make sure to comment below and let me know if you'd like me to make you the matching little set for this stitch pattern. It's a lot of work, so based on your, uh, I guess, likes or comments, I'll see what I can do. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.